Before assuming the simplicity of this offer, I want you to consider how any and every step has been individually and flawlessly planned to ensure the success of such an intricate and beautifully created misconduct. So listen carefully. Here's the plan. Firstly, it is important that you exit the vehicle at exactly 12.30pm. This is when two out of three of the members of staff are on their lunch break and when the antique is most vulnerable. Once you've entered the elevator, be sure not to converse at all with each other. This could potentially jeopardise the offer as CCTV is continuously active at this time. Floor by floor, progress down towards the ground. Take the front exit using the glass door and pace your way to the antique showroom. When you arrive, you will enter through the small corridor surrounded by countless vintage books. Follow the signs down the steady right-hand turning and continue until you see a sharp left-hand turn. I call this the reflection expanse. Follow the mirrors up the stairs and you will reach a room consumed by antique wooden furniture. Surveillance research has told us that an employee may be occupying this room, so be prepared for an encounter. The antique is positioned upwards nearest to the wall. Grab it from the head and carefully place it in the bag. You will need to pass the staff member again. Her training has taught her to ask for help. To convince her you are fine, simply browsing. The only piece of advice I can give you now is run. Remember, any offers are considered.